a tragedy because he's going to have to spend his first Christmas in the hospital. Fighting for his life, a nine-month-old boy still in the hospital tonight after a devastating incident at the Oak Court Mall last month. Good evening, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. And I'm Greg Hurst. Family members say little Jalen Hill was shot five times while his father held him in his arms. WRG's Andrew Ellison is live at Labonner Children's Hospital. And Andrew, how is little Jalen doing tonight? Yeah, family members say he's stable, but he's battling serious wounds. Tonight, they're rallying around him, hoping for his recovery while demanding justice. I'm still trying to process it. Coping with the unthinkable, Yasmin Mitchell is praying her nine-month-old nephew, Jalen Hill, pulls through. He tries to cry, but he can't make any sound right now. He's trying to move a little bit, but it's not much he can do because they had to put a trait in his throat. She says Jalen was shot five times at Oak Court Mall last month while his father held him in his arms. He was shot in his cheek, in his neck, in his hand his foot and his thigh. He can be in the hospital from anywhere from six to eight months. He's going to have to spend his first Christmas in the hospital. He's going to have to spend his first birthday in the hospital. Now I'm being told that eventually he may have to be fed through his stomach. His 21 year old father Jason also shot in the mall parking lot. Sadly, he didn't survive. He was just taking Jalen to the mall that day to buy him some shoes and some things for Christmas. Police are still looking for the shooters who allegedly drove up in a silver Chevy Malibu. Investigators posted these pictures of a person of interest on social media. We definitely need justice. Mitchell says she doesn't know why anyone would want to shoot Jason. He was a hardworking man. He worked two jobs. He also cut hair. Like, he's a very, um, got his head straight on as a young you know, as a young man, so I don't see why someone could have done it to him or why would they even do it with him and, and he had his child as well. Yeah, Jalen's medical bills are piling up, so his family set up a GoFundMe page. If you'd like to donate, we have a link on our website, WRG.com. Live in the Medical District, Andrew Ellison, WRG News, Channel 3. Our little Jalen, certainly one of the innocent. All right, Andrew, thanks. A Memphis man is going to prison for the rest of his life for killing his ex-girlfriend. 33-year-old Antonio Davis was convicted of murdering.